What is going on guys? Do you want the absolute fastest internet for your Xbox Series X or S? We come to the right place. So I'm just going to quickly run through the things you can do and later on in the video I'm going to explain exactly how you do them. So the easiest way is to use a wired internet connection such as this ethernet wire that connects directly to your router to your Xbox. Then you can change your Xbox's DNS settings for faster internet connection. You can move your Xbox too closer to your router to get a faster download speed. You can download games in rest mode because they are faster downloading game in rest mode compared to downloading a game while you're playing a game. You can obviously pay for a faster internet or switch to fiber optic for a sharp increase in Xbox download speeds. You can move your Wi-Fi and Xbox away from something like a brick wall because a Wi-Fi is kind of like a radio, radio signal. So if your Xbox has is surrounded by a thick brick, and your router is through the brick, obviously the signal is going to be weaker. Then you can only download one game at a time for more efficient downloads. First off, we're going to check our internet speed so we know how fast it is and how much the connection improved after we made the necessary changes. So what we're going to do is head on over to settings, then we're going to go to network settings. So we're going to go to test network speed and statistics so we can see how fast our Xbox is. So as you can see, here's my detailed network statistics. So the first thing we're going to do for a media increase is simply connect the Ethernet cable directly into the Xbox. There's no connection that's going to be stronger than a wired internet connection. So unlike with the PlayStation, you can immediately see my connection changed to wired. So let's see how just this one change has made an impact on my internet connection speed. So this is actually quite confusing. My download speed hasn't increased and my upload speed actually got a bit worse. But my packet loss is zero and my latency is 13. I know when I play Call of Duty Cold War in my, wi in my own Wi-Fi compared to using a wired controller, it's a lot, lot better with a wired controller. So this is misleading. I guarantee if you use a wired control, wired ethernet cable, sorry, the internet is gonna be a lot better for shooters like Call of Duty, Halo, whatever. So another way is changing your DNS settings. Now there's different DNS settings for US and Europe. For US, your primary DNS will be 8888 and your secondary DNS will be 8844. For Europe, your primary DNS will be 1111 and your secondary DNS will be 1.0.0.1. And to change your DNS settings, you wanna head over to network settings. We wanna go to advanced settings and then here we're going to click on dns settings and then from automatic we're going to do manual and obviously here you can do your primary dns and obviously after that you can do your secondary dns so let's test it out as you can see the wireless strength is 100 and the latency speed has been reduced by one millisecond you got to think at a competitive level while you're playing call of duty this is a big big difference don't think about the download and upload Think about the latency speed and the wireless strength. I can guarantee if you do the changes I said, you will get way better Wi-Fi speed and you'll get them kills that much easier. So if any of these things helps you, please remember to like and subscribe for more Xbox content. Remember, there's nothing that's gonna be better for multiplayer gaming than using a wide internet connection. Because no matter how far your Xbox is away from your router, and no matter how many brick walls is surrounding your Xbox and your router, the connection is going to zoop, zoop, fly straight from your router right into your Xbox for that good, good ping and that excellent multiplayer experience. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.